So we're starting. We're rolling. Are we already recording? Look at that. You got notes. This is so official. Hey, guys. It's Brian Baumgartner. Maybe you've heard my podcast, An Oral History of the Office, where we go deep into the making of the show. Now, well, you can go even deeper. That's what she said. Because I am sharing my full-length conversations with the cast and crew of The Office. Listen to The Office Deep Dive on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. The subject, drunk dialing dilemma. That's right, drunk dialing dilemma. But right now, the Mm. nephew is here with the prank phone call for today. What you got, Neff? Bad bugs. Woo. <laughs> Bad bugs. Makes you itch. <laughs> mm. Say it again. Some of y'all still got them. Some of y'all still got them. Bad again, bugs. Like Running cat. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to speak to Shanice. Uh, she's not here right now. I'm going to take a message. Uh, you, do you know when she's coming back? Nah, is this a business call or something? Nah, nah, this personal. I need to talk to her immediately. Nah, you need to talk to me. This this a man. This uh, Who is this? This is this is Brandon. Who 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 are you? I'm Ernest, man. But uh, how do you know Shanice? I I got a bit of a situation here, man. Uh, and it, it's basically a financial situation that I'm owed some money from her. So I kind of need to talk to her about about getting this money. It's totally disrupted my whole apartment, and I need to actually see about talking to her about getting this whole problem taken care of. What what's the what's the situation? I mean, I I'm basically. Right now, I'm twenty five hundred dollars in the rears due to due to Shanice, and I, I, you know, I I need to see if she's gonna be able to pay me for this situation or what, you know? Do my girl owe you money? She she owes me twenty five hundred dollars. Twenty five hundred dollars for what? I don't even know who you are, first of all. So, what's up with the twenty five hundred dollars? Uh, man, first of all, my name is Brandon. Okay, okay. and I've been I I know I've been knowing Shanice probably for the last three or four months now. Okay. So here you you want to know it all in a nutshell is it's like this. Shanice been coming through, okay, for the last three or four months, been coming over here to my spot, to my apartment, hanging out. I'm just now finding out within the last two weeks, um, it's, I had to get rid of my couch. I had to get rid of my mattresses because your mattress because it's bad. Your mattress. It's, wait a minute, dude. Wait a minute. So you trying to tell me she was in your bed? Yeah, she been in my bed, dude. She been in your bed. Are you crazy? Hey man, come hey on man. now, dude. Listen, you know, you hey know, dude, the problem is right not now. where she's been. You talking about twenty five hundred dollars? Problem is, is you talking about twenty five hundred dollars? You talking about my girl was in your bed? Now we not even gonna get into that. You understand what I'm saying? But that twenty five hundred dollars, you can forget about it. No, 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 no. Hold, Hold up. First of all, you no. calling here? You calling here? You calling here? Here is dude answer the phone, and you still got the d- to ask for her, and then go tell me about some twenty five hundred dollars about some. D- Mattress? Dude, I'm out. My my mattresses, man, are a thousand bucks. It's full of bed bugs. I had to throw that away. Man, I'm not worried about no damn mattress, dude. You talking about my girl? We've been together for four years. I'm about to pop the question on her, and you want to sit there talking about she been hanging with you or kicking with you for the last four months? It's about to be over in a minute. Dude, if you want to marry Shanice, cool. I don't care nothing about nah, that. Nah, hey, don't even worry about that now. But you over my phone talking about some damn mattress, man. That's that's a problem, dude. I ain't worried about no damn mattress. I'm worried about I ain't problem, got no mattress dude. right you now. You calling my house? You calling mine? Call dude, that dude. I do not dude, have crazy. a mattress right now, nor do I have a couch. Do you understand the problem that brings to me? I don't care nothing about, about your mattress or couch, dude. I don't care nothing about that. Your name, you said your name, Brandon? I'm Brandon, yes. Yeah, Brandon, okay, don't worry about it, Brandon, because you're going to find me real soon. Don't let me find you before you find me, though. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Dude, dude, dude. No, because you, you can have them bed bugs and that mattress or whatever. Answer these for all I care. But what I'm saying is, you talk about some bed bugs, ain't no bed bugs over here. Okay, so, so what's she getting the bed bugs from? She done brought them over here to my place. I don't care nothing about it. She ain't bring nothing over there, first of all. But I ain't, that ain't even a problem right now. Dude, you, Shanice, you, you, you call me been over, over here, man. I ain't had right nobody now. else over here. Right, don't worry about who you had over there, but you don't go call here talking about no money. You ain't getting nothing from here. Okay, first of all, dude, check this out. I don't have a problem with you, okay? Me and you cool. No, me we and you got cool. a problem. We already got a problem. You calling me talking about you been sleeping with my brother. Hey, dog, dog, once, I'm going to say it again. Me and you cool, dog. We dude, cool. We not cool. We not cool. First dog, of all, dog, I'm going to find out who you are. I'm going to handle Sinise myself. I'm going to handle you later. What you doing? What, what you talking about? You you gonna handle me? I'ma handle you later. You want a mattress, right? Hey, hey, dude, dude. You want a mattress, you go right? Ahead and marry 
Shanice. I, I ain't got nothing to do with that. My don't problem worry about is that. getting my money back, man, for the for the property of mine that she has ruined, man. I, don't worry about that. I'm going to get you a mattress. Don't worry about that. It's going to be a casket wrapped around that no. Hey, hey, dude, dude, why are you sitting here creating the drama with me when me, me and you, we ain't even the problem? The problem is Shanice. The problem is you picked up your phone and you called here. That's the problem. Okay. Now you got two okay, so dudes. You ain't got no couch. You ain't got no mattress. Now you got to do it after. You understand what I'm saying? You know what? I, I see. I can't talk to you. When do Shanice get home, man? Don't worry about when Shanice get home. Okay. What you need to worry about is when I find you. Okay. So, so when, when I, when you gonna have my money then? When you find me? Cause I need my money. Yeah, I'll have your money. I'll have your mattress too. Please understand. You are gonna be resting real well. Okay. Okay. So, so let me ask you this here, man. Shanice bring bed bugs over to my house. Leave them all in my mattress. Leave them all on my couch where I got to throw my stuff away. Where I'm wrong at, man? Where I'm wrong? I'm going to ask you straight up. Did you know she had a man? Say what? Did you know she had a man? But, I I mean, kind of, kind of, sort of, but not really, though. I know kind of, sort of, man. Either you know she got a man or she don't got a man. You knew she had a man, right? And you still went and did it, right? Hey, dog, I ain't got nothing to do with y'all, man. I'm, I'm dealing with these bed bugs. You understand what I'm saying? Dude, do you understand you messing up a, a four-year relationship? You know how much time I put in with this woman? Four hey, years. Hey. Four years, we about to get we about to get married. And you calling here with this When are y'all supposed to get married? Don't worry about when we supposed to get married, man. You messed that all up. What I'm trying to explain to you is, dude, you calling here on some bed bug which I know she ain't got nothing to do with, but the fact that you told me that she was over your house, in your bed, that's over. It's over now. You understand what I'm saying? Now, when she get home, I'm going to deal with that. You understand what I'm saying? That's going to get dealt with. I'm walking up out of here. But when I leave here, please believe my next stop is to come find your a- First of all, how did you get the number to this apartment? That's what I want to know. Hey, dude, she gave me both numbers, the cell phone number and the house number, and told me, you know, if it's an emergency, call the house. Okay, and this is an emergency? Yeah, this is an emergency. I well, got well, bad well, bugs, well, man. Well, well, learn, learn another emergency number. Learn 911, because when I come knocking on your door, either you come out and you handle it, or you better call the cops. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? <sighs> hey, man, do you think Tommy will pay for the bad bugs? Who is Tommy? I'm just saying, do you think Tommy will pay for the bed, bro? Hey, who the f- is Tommy? Tommy, dog. Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Ernest, you just got pranked by your girl, Shanice. <laughs> man. Y'all, y'all. Woo. You all right, Woo. man? Boy, hey. Well, it was over. It was over. You understand what I'm telling you? It was over. <laughs> 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 What y'all think? There it is. Yeah. Huh? Makes me it there it is. is. How I do? How I do? How I do? <laughs> You're the king. What do you, what do you want? You're the king. That's of all I want. I just want but you know what? I need people I need y'all to tell people I'm the king. The show has three kings. Kings of comedy, kings of prank, the king of rap. Right here. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> 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 Three, three, we, we three kings. <laughs> king of comedy, king of pranks, king of <laughs> and the rap, latest baby. edition is the king of rap. <laughs> no, not King Kang. That's different. Kang? Kang. Oh, okay. So you you are established. Yeah, he's fire. Okay. Now, how many albums you got? Whoa, you want to go with that? None! <laughs> None! Picky, picky, picky. Uh, all right, check it out. The nephew is coming to town. I will be there May 2nd through the 4th, Virginia Beach Comedy Club. So loud. The nephew is Woo-hoo! coming to town. I think yeah, yeah. Uh, this might be a good, good time for you to come open. Really. <laughs> this, this, this good. I, I just sold everything. You ain't got to do nothing. I don't work in rooms that small. <laughs> what? Pop ting. <laughs> did he pip pop ting me? Yeah, he, oh, did. Yeah. he did. Yeah, he, he did. said his he studio did. audience that is big. That was painful. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, no, it ain't painful to okay, me. Can I, can I, I would be in Virginia Beach. Can I bust a rap? Yeah. Mass race. No. He didn't say bus. it loud. He didn't even sing. But sound like to me, that was a pop ten. Uh, <laughs> uh, the king of rap right there, baby. King of rap. All right. Thank you, nephew. Up next, strawberry letter. Subject, drunk dialing dilemma. We'll get into it right after this. 
Paris Hilton has a podcast. This is Paris, where she talks about the hottest in movies, music, and television with edgy, candid conversations and unexpected guests. This is Paris like you've never heard her before. Every week, it's an honest, open, and unpredictable romp through pop culture that only she can deliver. I've probably been interviewed about a million times. Now it's my chance to turn the tables and interview some of your favorite celebs, influential people, and maybe even you. Listen to This Is Paris podcast on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after today's Strawberry Letter, uh, the subject, my past fling, is her new thing. But right now, the nephew is in the building with today's prank phone call. What you got, Nev? Upright trash cans. Ooh, that sounds serious. When you come by my house uh-huh. and you get my trash, yeah, I don't need my cans laying down on the side. I need them upright when you get through with them. <laughs> this boy jeans, I tell y'all. <laughs> really? You got the genius out of that? What? <laughs> Pick your own Upright trash, trash cans. cans. Ready, cat. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach a Kendrick. This Kendrick was good. Hi, this is Wade. Wade. I wanted to try and speak with you if I could. You, you're actually um, one of the guys that work on the the garbage truck that comes to the neighborhood. Am I right? Oh, uh, yeah. Back there. Hey, what, route you, I, what route you on? What route you on? I, I, uh, sir, I'm not sure about what route I'm on. I'm in Mission Forest Subdivision. And um, listen, I'm, i got a bit of a problem. Uh, it, it seems right, that... You got, you got a problem. Um, you need to call. First of all, how you get my number? Uh, sir, I, I, I've done the research on getting your number. I found out who's actually driving the truck as well as the people that are on the back of the truck. And I um, want to get some things clarified here. I'm noticing that when you guys come by my home, who, you know, you, who you gave got... you? Who? Hold, hold on, sir. I'm not. I'm not. Hold on. Let me get up. I will, I will rest a little bit. Um, who gave you my number? Because you said you had a problem. I'm not the person who you talk to about problems. I understand that, sir. But what has been narrowed down is it's been given to me that you're actually the person that is the problem. And and I wanted to give you a call personally and try and see if I can get that rectified. Now, you're you're the one that's on the back of the truck and you you pick up the trash can thingies or whatnot and throw the garbage Uh in. So the problem I'm having is that when I come home in the evenings, my trash cans are in a disarray, you know, and what I want to do is call you and tell you, I want you to start bringing them to the back by the fence and sitting them up right and put the lids back on them and put them huh? in it. You, you say, hold on, hold on, sir. I, how you know I'm the person that even do your house? How you know I'm even, because I know sir, you can't, I, hold on, sir, I'm, I'm, at, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm asking a question. I know you can't be calling me on Saturday talking about your trash can and this is my first Saturday off. I'm not, I want I, I, I want to get the problem rectified, and you're the problem, sir. You don't even sir. know if I'm the one who do your house. You don't you're, even know what route you on. What I, route you're Kendrick. You on? You're, you're Kendrick, and they've told me that you're the person on the back of the truck that comes through Mission Forest on who my told, street. Who told you that? I I I have ways of finding out, sir. Who's doing what? Okay. What, what so you, what, what I you need to find, what, no, listen to what I'm saying. So what you need to find out is the proper person to talk to about your particular. I don't know what route you. I don't know you. I don't know if I even do. Look, man, I'm not the person that you're supposed to call. I'm man. It's Saturday. First sir, of all, that's, sir, that's listen, first. listen. I don't want to take this to another level, but what I do want is my well, trash you, you, put you by the back level fence when you call when you call my cellular phone talking about your, your trash on Saturday, and I ain't been off in no Saturday in a long time. Um, sir, I'm not trying to be rude, but you may need to re- research your research and, and, and talk to them, because I don't even know if I do your route, sir. You and, are and, the person on my route, Mr. Don't tell me I'm the person on your route if you ain't. Man, listen to me. Listen Look, no, you're, what you're going to do is put my trash cans where I want them and when I want them there and the lids on top of them and quit throwing them across the yard as if you don't care. And I mean that. Man, who the f*** is you talking to about some trash cans on a Saturday and I ain't never been off on a Saturday before ever and you're going to call my cellular phone talking about your trash cans? 
That's I right, because I... am about to, man. I want my trash cans put where they need to be in a post. I have to get out of my car, move the trash cans, take them over to the fence, put the lids on them, and I don't want to have to continue to do it. So I've done the research, and I found out, Mr. that you're the one. Man, I don't give a damn. Man, okay, okay, tell me how you want your trash can. I'm going to put them just like, tell me how you want your trash can. I want them put in a upright position by the back fence near the gate with the lids on the top of them, please. How about putting them right up your how about that? Because guess what? I, I know how I do your trash can from this home. If, if I see your house, you hear me? What, what your house look like so I can throw your trash? No, matter of fact, matter of fact, let me tell you something. Matter of fact, mister, what's your name again? What's your name? Wade. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to make sure that I put your trash just like you like it all over your yard. You hear me? Excuse me? On a Saturday, talking about an upright trash can, and you lost your mind. I have not lost my. I want my. I want my trash cans in an upright position. Me no call my cellular phone with this nonsense. I got one more thing that I need to say to you. Man, Are you, you listening? Me, man, nah, I'm not listening. To you got to say. Well, I know one thing. You don't make me tear this whole street up that you live. What street you live on again, sir? Because you don't call my cellular phone talking to me on no Saturday, man. You know I ain't have on no Saturday. I got one more thing I want to say to you. What, Are what, you what, listening, what, this, Mr. This what Kendrick? Can I tell you that? Yes, tell me. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just Ow. got pranked by your boy <laughs> at the job. <laughs> man, Tommy. <laughs> boy, Tommy. No, man, you. Well, you gonna get your <laughs> with Tommy. <laughs> you and <laughs> gonna get your. <laughs> I ain't gonna get this Tommy. Y'all funny. Y'all real funny. Boy, y'all about to make me blow down, you boy. My sugar and my blood didn't went up. <laughs> oh, and I ain't been off on a Saturday ever. Call <laughs> me on, ooh, on my telephone. Woo, man. Hey, man, I got to ask you, man. What is the baddest radio show in the land? Oh, man, the Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Y'all, I don't care who your uncle is, Tom. You call me on my cellular phone ever again, whatever your name was. Man, you, you funny, boy. Yeah, nephew Tommy. I'm my cell phone. <laughs> now, am I the only one that wants his trash cans upright when they finish? Now, come on now. Well, no, you're not. People, of uh, course, you know, don't want their trash cans down. Okay. But... Don't nobody but have what, time what, what, for that but... as a sanitation worker yeah. to place your trash can. When, when you, you get want... through dumping it, put them up right. <laughs> to do a whole prank about it? I don't know. <laughs> Play too much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me drop these dates because I got a new date to drop on you guys. Okay. Here we go. Uh, it's almost sold out. Keswick Theater, Glenside, Pennsylvania, Saturday, April the 13th. That's me and the beautiful Samoa. Two shows, 7 and 10 o'clock. They got about, uh, uh, about 10 tickets left. That's about what they got, 10 tickets. And then you got me and the one and only Bruce Bruce the following weekend, Friday, April 19th, Knoxville, Tennessee at the Civic Auditorium. Tickets are on sale right now. Uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia Beach Comedy Club, May 2nd through May 4th. Tickets on sale right now. And then the one I have never been to. This is brand new. Mother's Day weekend, Saturday, May the 11th. The nephew was going down the street from my hometown, Texarkana. Texarkana. Texarkana Convention Center, May 11th, Mother's Day weekend. Tickets are on sale right now. Texarkana, the nephew is coming to town. All what right, y'all think? What you think, Uncle? You've been through Texas, Canada. A little bit of Texas, a little bit of Arkansas. Yeah. yeah. Right yeah. up in there. What you, what you need? I need an opener, man. That's what I really <laughs> need. That's what I really come need. On, I need an opener. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. You know what, you know what Tony? You know what, Uncle? If you go out there and do 30, go do 30. <laughs> boy, then, then what you going to do? Because, <laughs> boy, <laughs> let me tell you something, Tommy. I don't care how long I've been on. You a young warrior. I'm a beast out there, man. Thank you, guys. Okay, uh, you're going to mess around. The king cometh. <laughs> we well, got to go. King. Strawberry, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Strawberry Letters coming up next. My past fling is her new thing. That is the subject. We'll get into it right after this. Hey, everyone. I'm Gigi Good. And I'm at Wembley Sewell. And together, we are hosting the official companion podcast for the HBO Max original series, Generation. In Generation, the podcast, Gigi and I are going to chat with the show's actors and writers. 
ultimately peeling back the many layers of the most complex generation ever. Listen to Generation the Podcast on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. Subject, my son caught me cheating. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, this one. Ooh. But right Damn, now. Mama. <laughs> exactly. Damn, mama. Right, Steve. <laughs> I'm going to tell yeah. daddy. <laughs> <laughs> right now, uh, it is the nephew on tap here for today's prank phone call. What you got for us now? My auntie's bike. Dang, you're so aggressive. My auntie bike. That don't sound good. You yell every prank. Oh, I, listen to this. My auntie yeah. bike. That don't sound the same. Uh, don't uh, sound no, the same. that don't sound right. My uh, ain't is bite. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's rock. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Vaughn. Yes, Vaughn. Hey, man, this 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 K-Dub, man. Listen, do do do, do you know somebody that live on Yeah, my mama, my mama stay on Hey, who is this? Hey, this, this K-Dub, man, my auntie, Miss Tinsley, she live on now, my auntie say you uh, came over here and stole a bicycle and some other stuff out of her garage. Okay, hold up. Uh, well, first of all, who is you, man? I, I stole a bike out of somebody's garage. Who, who is this? Who is K? I don't know no K-Dub. This is, this is K-Dub, man. My, my auntie, uh, Miss Tinsley, live down the street from your mama. And my auntie just got you telling Tinsley. me you the one came over here and took a bike and, and a toolbox or something out of that garage. Man, first of all, I don't even know no damn Miss Tinsley. And second of all, I don't steal. Your, your auntie, Miss Tinsley, say I stole something out of her garage. I, I, put, put her on the phone, man. Put your auntie on the phone. I ain't stole nothing from nowhere. I ain't got to she steal. Can't, she can't talk. My auntie can't talk to you. Why she can't talk? She say I stole something. No, my aunt, my auntie, Del, she sign language me and told me that you the one stole, stole the bike. Your auntie, Del, and she told you, she sign language you. And said, I stole the bike. Hold on, wait just a minute. Ooh, how you get my number? Hold on, wait how a you minute, man. She number, sign right? language with me now. Hold on. What the f- okay, she say, quit all that damn lying. You know damn well you the one that stole the bike. Hey, hey man, hold up. F- so your auntie is cussing me out through you in sign language. That's f- you telling me that I done stole the damn bike. Say, man, for, for, hey, first of all, how the hell you even get my number, man? I got your, I got I your number from some people that live down the street that say that I asked them for Miss, uh, ain't your mama Miss Yeah, Miss my mama. Okay, okay, well, you, look, man, the people down the street up then they knew your number. I told them I needed to talk to you as soon as my auntie told me that, that you was the one that stole the bike out the garage. Now, look, I ain't trying to hey, have hey, no problem. Hey, I just hey, need hey, you look to bring the bike can you, can, 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 hey, man, all that. Can you sign language back to your auntie? Yeah, I can sign language back to her. Man, tell, tell her that I said that I ain't stole no <laughs> bike. How about that? Tell your auntie I ain't stole no I'm damn bike. Right what now, man, hold on. Grown man. I'm trying to tell her right now. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. She's saying something. She said your black <laughs> is lying, and you know damn well you got that bike. Man, look here, man. <laughs> you, <laughs> your damn <laughs> ain't it? <laughs> that street song <laughs> with nobody on this street except for my mama. <laughs> I'm a grown <laughs> man. What the f- I gotta steal a bike for? Yo, deaf. F- she she must be dumb too. She deaf and dumb. She think I stole something. Y'all don't. I, mean, I don't even know y'all. Who the f- are you? My auntie ain't deaf and dumb, dude. Okay. My, my auntie don't never lie. And if Miss Tinsley say that 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 somebody took something, that dog, she telling the truth. My auntie don't be lying. And just to be lying, why she just gonna lie on you? Why she gonna pick you out? Man, you know what? I, I don't know what's f- going on. But I ain't got no reason to steal no bike. Now I'm a gr- I got a car. Sh- that ain't paid for. A I got. I, I'm a grown man. I'm trying to get custody of my son. So I'm gonna come in somebody's garage and steal a bike. Is you crazy? You crazy? She is. Man, get off my line with that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. My ain't to talk. I don't know what she's saying. Wait a minute, man. I'm trying to see what she's saying. Oh, she say that black know damn well he took that bike. Man, he better bring that damn bike oh, back. Okay. That's that oh. Look at man. I don't know why the you still on my line, man. I ain't took no bike. Your dumb ain't his line. Do he, do he see even sign hey, man, put, hey, right? hey, dog. Let me tell you something. You're going to respect my ain't You hear me? Hey, man, you're going to respect me. You call my phone with that. I'm here trying to get my together. You call me with some. Hey, who are you? Who the are you? I don't know who this is. I don't know no I'm no K Dub, man. I'm K Dub. Everybody know K Dub. I ain't never heard of no K Dub on in my life. My mama been staying on for fifteen years. I ain't never heard of no K 
K. Doug. I ain't heard no from Miss Tinsley. I ain't heard about no deaf lady. I ain't seen no bike. Get the off my line, man. Hey, man, CC, you gonna make me go down and steal something out of Miss house if you don't bring that damn bike back. Oh, you got me up. Bring somebody to my mama's house if you want to. I'm on my way over there. Bring somebody to my mama house. My family is going to be over for you. The deaf dumb ain't you got. Whoever the down there gave you my number. Everybody, you got me up. We'll blow this up. I'll that street up. You go by my mama house. You better not step in my mama grass. You come by my mama plant. I'm going to you up. You got me up. You going to turn me to the dark side, I'm on my way right now. I don't know why we still on the phone. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What you say? I ain't, I ain't say ain't nobody scared of your b Ow. This crazy say tell your deaf ain't to bring her outside side and I'll bet you she hear them licks I'm going to be putting on your Yo, know, I'll beat your She going to be undeaf today. I bet she get cured when she see me whooping your Hey, man. Hey, hey look. I ain't coming by myself, homie. Tommy going to be there with me. Tommy going to help me whoop your ass. Who the f*** is Tommy? Tommy who? Tommy, man, nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> you just got pranked by your mama, Miss Vera. Ah, uh, that's that b- <laughs> right there, man. Ah, uh, my, uh, my mama, no, I don't like nobody f- with him, man. God. Uh, your mama you say, your mama say, my son love me to death. He don't let nothing, he take care of me. He don't let nothing go wrong with me. Already. He don't let nobody mess with me. He said, all you got to do is act like you're going to do something to his mama. Oh, man. Well, I hope she heard that. I hope she hit me cousin like I did, man. God, dog. I'm in the mirror sweating. I'm mad for real. <laughs> Y'all did this one, man. I swear to God, I wasn't myself. Don't judge me, man. Tell my mama she wrong for that, too, dude. <laughs> what up, nephew? What up, baby? You, you, you off the chain, boy. You off the chain. You Y'all just like me, man. boy. You love your mama. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> hey, I got to ask you, man, one more thing. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Man, without a doubt, man. It's the Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning Show, man. we will be there for you, Tommy, man. Without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, tell Miss Bureau I said, hey, all right. I, I go, I'm gonna, we're gonna go drop off that little two hundred dollars. But she wanna, she wanna play games though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be on her now. <laughs> that is straight Woo! stupid for you. Just yeah. stupid. That's all. I'm just trying yeah. to be a little stupid this morning. Play That's all. Too uh-huh. much. You know, a couple drops of stupid in here. Uh-huh. That's all. Boy, thank you. Tell yeah. him to me. Boy. Huh? Boy. Why well, I can't be a t- This boy's stupid. Most <laughs> damn near all the time. <laughs> on and off, Steve. He just up. plays stupid on the radio. He's he playing really too damn that good that to be stupid. playing. Let me say this. Uh, first of all, thank you to Knoxville, Tennessee. Came out. And Steve, Uncle Steve, he, he wanted me to make sure. I t- man, tell Steve Bruce Bruce said hello, man. Uh, that's my dude right there, man. Tell Big Steve. Uh, just I Bruce, said hello. Bruce, my dude. <laughs> Bruce. Just like him. Bruce Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> I love me some Bruce Bruce. He wanted me to tell everybody hello. Steve Harvey Bruce, Morning Bruce. Show. Thanks to Knoxville, Tennessee, laying in the cut. I got, uh, what I got? I got Virginia. Virginia Beach Comedy Club uh, starts on Thursday. That is May 2nd all the way to May 4th. And uh, that's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You got a lot of stuff going on. And them tickets on. by gone. They by yeah. gone. You know, who headlining that show? Me, boy. <laughs> You're not going to do it. Steve Harvey. You're not going to do it. Me, and if you show up, me. <laughs> Oh. No, we oh, team. I ain't gonna keep oh, taking that was these pimp pop team. <laughs> I ain't gonna keep taking. You gonna stand up for yourself, nephew? Oh, mine, you get mine, right on that table. Mine, and stand mine up. is not a zip pop team. Sure, <laughs> Larry. <laughs> All right, listen, we gotta get out of here. Thank you, nephew. Up next, strawberry letter. Subject: My son caught me cheating. We'll get into it right after this. Hey, I'm Roy Wood Jr. I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm a correspondent on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. I'm a father, I'm a Sagittarius, and I have a podcast called Roy's Job Fair. This show is a therapy session for anybody who's looking for work, wants to slap somebody at work, or is hiring somebody to work for them so that eventually they can slap you too. One part laughs, one part inspiration. I cannot wait to welcome you to Roy's Job Fair. Starting on March 17th on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today's subject. That's not what Steve Harvey wrote in that book. What? 
You heard uh-huh, that's the subject. Oh. <laughs> the subject Ooh. is that's not what Steve Harvey wrote in that book is the subject. But right here, right now, nephew Tommy is here with uh, today's prank phone call. What do you have for us, Neff? What you got? Well, you know, before I bring this prank up, you know, I want to go around the room. We're going to order a pizza this morning. How do you like your pizza? We're going to start with the beautiful Carla. How you, how you like your pizza? Uh, pepperoni, uh, some vegetables, mushroom. Uh, let's see. I just love mm. pizza. I don't care. Okay. Sure. I like pizza with my pizza. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I ain't mad at no pizza. Extra yeah, cheese. Like. Yeah. Thin, thick uh-huh. crust, whatever. Junior boy. Meat lovers. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Meat lovers. The, the big dog. Lou Malnati's classic sausage pizza pie. Ooh. That just sounds... <laughs> I just love pizza. I mean, yeah. you right. can't go wrong Seriously. with pizza. Can I tell you something? It's uh, my favorite food. Wow. You you just can't it. go wrong with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can go wrong with it now. You, know you can go pizza. wrong Uh-oh. if you put them anchovies on there. Oh, yeah. Today's okay. title is No Anchovies. That's what this is. No Anchovies. <laughs> Run it. Hello, Hey, man, who, who, who is the person I need to talk to about? Um, I got a pizza that's been messed up. Who do I need to talk to? Well, you can talk to me, sir. Well, what's going on? What happened to your pizza? Somebody put some f-ing anchovies on my pizza. Black people, uh, black people don't eat no f-ing anchovies, man. So, uh, so who, 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 the f- put, who would do that? Who would put anchovies I, I, on my damn pizza? I, I, I don't want no f-ing. Settle, down, settle down with the language there, pal. All right? You know, if you got anchovies on your pizza, you just must have gotten mixed up with another order. I'll send you another f-ing pizza. It ain't a big deal. But I ain't asking no f- anchovies, man. What, what, matter of fact, let me ask you something. What the f- is an anchovy any damn way? It's uh, like a f- sardine. That's what a f- anchovy is, okay, pal? It's like a f- sardine. Hey, 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 let me tell you something, man. First of all, what's your name? What is your name? I'm Gino. I'm Gino. So you're the owner of the damn pizza place. Yeah, I own the damn pizza place. I don't need people calling me and cursing at me because it was a mistake. You know, mistakes happen, pal. Worst things go on in this life than, than you're getting some anchovies on your pizza. Hey, man, hey, okay, so here's the deal. I done had a bunch of guests come to my house or order pizza, and every last one of them got f- anchovies on them. You know what I'm saying? So I got an issue with it. I done spent over $50 with you with these pizzas, and the, and the sh- made wrong. Nobody likes anchovies? No, I told you something. Before, black people don't eat no f-ing anchovies, man. Okay? Hold on. Hold on. I, 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 I'm almost certain I've served anchovy pizza to black people before. Okay, the black people that I know don't eat f-ing anchovies. Okay? okay, well, then we'll send you some pizzas without any f-ing anchovies on them. Hey, you know I'm what? I don't, like your, I don't like your attitude. You know what, man? You don't mess well, maybe around if you didn't come at me here. with so much f-ing attitude to start with, you wouldn't get no attitude. Okay, okay, look at it. Don't get your ass whooped, okay? Don't get your ass whooped. What did I you just... F- what, excuse okay, me, don't... what did you just... Did you just threaten me? I said don't get your Who the f- do you think you're so... talking... Who the f- do you think you're talking to, f- face? I, I, I'm talking to Gino, the owner That's of right. f- Pizzeria. You. That's f- Right. That's right. You don't tell me you're gonna kick my f- ass, okay, pal. You know where the pizzeria is. You know, okay, so, you just so, calm so, the f- down. Do, do you? Do you? Want, okay, that's it. I tell you what, man. In the next three to five minutes, I'm gonna walk down there and kick your little ass behind putting these f- anchovies on here and having a little pompous attitude, like you think you can't get your ass f- whooped. You come on down here, okay? And we'll see. Do me a favor. Go f- yourself and the. F- the one she wrote in on, okay? And bring it on down here. All right, we'll take care of it there. Now, stop some anchovies up your f- ass, all right, pal? Okay, 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 cool. All right, cool. Okay, you okay, have... okay. You like to say okay a lot, do you? Yeah, is that a you, 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 words, okay? Yeah, you need to have somebody there with you when I get there, because I promise yeah. you, Gino finna get his ass up. Yeah, Gino's shaking in his boots, pal. Me and my anchovies, we're sitting here scared out of our minds right now. Okay, you okay, let me, me tell you. i dealt with clowns like you my whole life. Please. Okay, let, let, let me tell you this here. Do you, do, you, do you know who you're talking to? I'm talking to some f-ing idiot who don't know how to talk. That's what I'm talking to. No, you're talking to nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Mr. Gino, you just got pranked. 
You telling me I'm throwing f bombs all over the radio? <laughs> you dropping f bombs all over the radio, who, who, baby? Who, who I want to know who did this to me because they're getting some f bombs. You who got, did this to me? Do you have a guy that works for you? Uh, he says he works uh, five to close. Andre, you got a Andre? You got a Dre that works for you? Yeah, I got a Dre that works for me. And Dre's going to be spending some time in a walk-in freezer. <laughs> All right. this is Black people don't need anchovies, huh? <laughs> Black people don't need anchovies, baby. Hey, I got to ask you this, Mr. Gino. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Your show. <laughs> the baddest radio show in the land is the Steve Harvey show. <laughs> With no Steve anchovies, Harvey morning. Baby. No anchovies. Steve Harvey morning, Joe. <laughs> I mean, I'll be saying, I'm going to send you some pizzas. I'm sending that station dozens of pizzas with anch- double anchovies on every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no anchovies, baby. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> you be tripping. No Crazy anchovies. <laughs> what do we say about anchovies off the air? Do black people eat anchovies? No. Yeah. Uh, no. They- no. Yes, they do. They do now? Terry Kennedy, who runs my... Uh, Production company East 112 mm-hmm. loves anchovies, and so does Reginald Hutland. I was oh, sitting yeah. with two black people uh-huh. having lunch, <laughs> and both of them ordered anchovies. Sh- she ordered a dish of them. Ooh, just wow. a little salty fish just in the little bowl, huh? I don't know what your <laughs> breath <laughs> smells like after you lay <laughs> a anchovy in it. <laughs> well, I know what they smell like when they up round my mouth. Uh-huh. I put anchovy in my mouth, man. I spit so far. I spit it on you. <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody going to get some of this damn anchovy because I'm not finna for and suffer by myself. But I do like the I've Caesar never had dressing. It. Yeah. I ain't You've never, never had no anchovy. Never. I, have. I don't think oh, I've ever anchovy had it. dressing. Uh-huh. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. You've never had an anchovy, Tommy? No. I don't think so. How? I don't. Mr. Caviar? Wait a minute. Is this you know Mr. What? Caviar talking? Do they have a. Wait, whoa, whoa. Do they have a caviar pizza? Dude, of course. I'm sure you can. Yeah. Oh, I'm boy, sure you don't, can. Don't, boy, don't tell me this. Of course. Don't, don't <laughs> you, tell you me caviar. this, boy. Yeah. Of course. Uh, um, you, had, you had caviar on your pizza before? Uh-uh. <laughs> well, if they got an anchovy, can't be far behind. <laughs> don't nobody do that. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you don't eat caviar on no damn pizza, but they got it. Okay. Tom, you can All right, let it. me put it out there. Uh, Glenside, Pennsylvania. If y'all got an- uh, not anchovy, if you got... Caviar on your pizza. Bring your boy one. I will be there Saturday, April 13th, along with the beautiful Samoa at the Keswick Theater. Boy, ask Come round back. No anchovy pizza. Black people ask. Your concert finna be stinking so bad. <laughs> I got them, Tommy. <laughs> got <laughs> your anchovies. <laughs> we got two shows, one at 7 and one at 10 at the Keswick Theater. You don't want to miss it. Tickets are on sale right now. That's Glenside, Pennsylvania. And then April 19th, a Friday night, Knoxville, Tennessee, me and Bruce Bruce. Now, me and Bruce Bruce will eat just straight meat lovers. Knoxville, Tennessee at the Knoxville Civic Auditorium. Tickets are on sale right now. Come get your laugh on. We're putting them out there. All right. Thank you, nephew. With, without anchovies. But I accept all caviar on my pizza. You can't make no damn caviar pizza at your house. <laughs> <laughs> you picky. You know, you picky with your rich, though. You really are. Hey, All right, we got to go, I guys. I hate to tell you what they're eating now. Don't tell me this, man. We got to go. Tell He'll tell you off the air. Thank you, Neff. <laughs> Up next, Strawberry Letter Subject. That's not what Steve Harvey wrote in that book. We'll get into it right after this. So what does a running back do after his playing days are over? Hey, this is former NFL star Amon Green. For me, I started a podcast. Each episode, I bring the world of competitive gaming and esports to life with my podcast, Amon Green's Gamers Lounge. I'll bring my experiences from being a collegiate esports head coach along with interviews with the top video game streamers, gamers from Hollywood, social media, and pro sports. Listen and follow Amon Green's Gamers Lounge on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's today's Strawberry Letter. The subject, the cookie drove my best friend crazy. Hell yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. But right now, the nephew is here with today's prank phone call. What you got, Neff? That ain't my brother, baby. Huh? That ain't my okay. brother's baby. <laughs> you sound drunk. I mean that. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? Okay, that's it, huh? That's self-explanatory, pretty much. That's, that pretty much speaks for itself. Yeah, it that does. ain't my brother, babe. It does. Mm-hmm. Okay, All right. so we're gonna run it. Here it is. Right. Don't worry about it. It's something I need to take care. I talk to. Hello. May I speak to Terry? This is she. My name is Daryl. Damon is my brother. I don't live in Dallas where y'all live at. I'm uh, the one that live out of town. But we didn't have a family meeting and talked about it. And uh, I know Travis is your son. He eight years old. But the problem is the reason why I'm calling you, uh, Terry, is because we didn't found out that Travis ain't none of Damon's child. Excuse me. Travis ain't none of Damon's child. We, you, we, he been paying you child support here for the last. Wait, eight. hold on. And you said your name was who? I'm Daryl. I'm Damon's brother. And who gave you this information? We we all done found the information out. We actually going to go down there to the courthouse and get all this stuff rectified. But we done found out that th- Travis ain't none, of, uh, ain't none of Damon's child. And he been sitting up here sending you money, seven dollars $800 a month, and this child ain't even here. Now, I hate for Travis to find this out, and he going to have to find it out. Oh, but, wait, 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 wait. He ain't finna find that but who, who, why are you calling me? Look, the family didn't had a meeting, and I'm the one that they decided to make the phone call and tell you what's going on. No, you, 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 you don't have a damn thing to do with this. You, you ain't nobody daddy over here, so I'm not sure what you're calling for or who died made you king or wanted you to be head in charge to call, but that is not going to work out. But let me, why, why are you doing this to my brother? That's what I'm saying. For eight years, the man been sending you 700 something dollars a month and, and, and this ain't even his child. Well, you know, I, I'm, why am, why am I even talking to you? I'm not really sure. Uh, your brother need to call me if he has any problems or questions. You have a good day. Da- da- Hello? You don't hang no damn phone up on me. Damon told me your little ass was hard-headed anyway. Now, look. Wait I'm- a minute. Huh? You know what? You you got the wrong one, baby. Like, I'm trying to not lose all my religion today, but you about to make me lose it on your about to make you me lose. Who- you don't know who you with over here. So, like I said before... Uh, my son, your uh, nephew that you try not to claim over there. I don't know why you came from wherever there. You said you came from the Dallas to try to cross the from, I came from California down here to Dallas, and I'm telling and you, you need to take your black <laughs> come back to California because down here it, it, you don't know me like that. No, I don't know you, but I'm finna know you, and Travis finna know that my brother ain't his daddy. Not, I, not, I, and, and I don't know. You know what? You need to talk to your brother again. That's what you need to do, and you don't need to be talking to me. You finna send us all the money my brother didn't sent y'all. <laughs> and when I do, look, when I send when I send all that uh, eight years worth of money back, you you gonna send every dime back because it belonged to my brother. That ain't my brother's child. Now we ain't got time to be going on no Mari Povich show or nothing to find out who the Boy, daddy. You know what? Like I said, you picked the wrong one. To f- It'd be your best bet not to call me anymore. You actually, it is a good thing that you call because if you came knocking on my door, you'd have got your for today. No, you go. Uh, that's my second thing I'm finna do if we can't rectify it over the phone. I don't have a problem coming over there, knocking down some doors and getting some questions answered. Because, damn it, this ain't Damon's baby. It, obviously, you must wish it was yours since you're taking so much interest. No, it ain't mine. But but it, it ain't Damon's either. And we got seven hundred. You must not have any and looking for some. But I, I'm sorry. This one's taken over here. And Damon will we continue to pay what he owes. Damon don't owe that's another... With, that's what's wrong with you brothers now. You don't want to pay. I'm sorry. He's going to continue to pay. And you can call whoever you want to call him, do whatever you want to do. So go back and tell your mama and everybody else who who, who who waiting for this meeting to let them know. It ain't happening. Look, my mama ain't got nothing to do with it. Mama so been... You said my... your mama. You said your mama and all y'all got together. She the same way. That's, I see where you get it from. You act just like her. No, no. Some nosy, y'all some nosy people. Mind your own damn business. That's a grown man. That ain't my mama said it from the get go that it wasn't hunt, that it, it wasn't Damon Child. Nah, no, that means your mama's a two faced lot because you ain't what your mama said. You ain't finna sit here and bring my mama up in this. Well, if you know so much, then you break, come knock on my door. Come knock on my door if you want to. We done done the math. Seven hundred and fifty dollars times twelve, <laughs> then times eight is seventy two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that's how much money my brother didn't send you, and that's how much we want back. And I need you to get to working on this money now. Mm, okay. Why don't you come over here and get it? Don't get your <laughs> whooped today, Terry. Come on over here, and you don't see them get their <laughs> whooped. You, you in Dallas. When is, you, 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 I don't care nothing about, about I'm in no Dallas. This ain't California. So what? Well, is, I don't even know what the hell. I don't, why, I don't even know why I'm wasting my time talking to you. Like I said, you, your, your brother is is a weak. If he got to have you, y'all had a meeting and you got to be the one to call. 
I'm not really understanding. Look, I got one more thing I need to say to you. Is you listening to me? You know, you do know my damn nerves. That's what you're doing. You, you, you respect me. Are you listening to me? You what? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got oh, pranked. My <laughs> oh, my God. You just got pranked by your sister Tanya, baby. You know what? <laughs> she say, talk to her about her baby daddy and that baby. Yeah, I don't play with the children. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so embarrassed. All right, let me ask you this. What is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land. The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> that is. That ain't my brother's baby. Whew, I guess not. Ooh, you play way yeah. too much, Tommy. You cuss yeah. me out all you want to. That ain't my brother's baby. <laughs> But it is always the family member that gets into it. That uh uh-uh, that baby don't look nothing like him. I need a DNA test. You need one. (laughs) (laughs) Maury Povich, you are not. Oh, my God. That's where you you see it at, Carla. Uh Right there. Still on Oh, I love it. Oh, they come out. I love it when it's not the... um, the person that's on there and they take off running to do that. Uh, doing a yeah, happy dance. Yeah, when he's dance, not to fall away, you be going back there. For <laughs> yeah, they be running. Are oh, you trying to get out of the way? You trying to get out of that camera, uh-huh. dog? They, they done ran back there so many times. They done already set cameras up back there. <laughs> yeah. And then, what about the times when <laughs> this guy comes out? It's not his baby. This then another guy comes out. They take the test. It's not his baby. Then another. You're like, one. what have you been doing? Oh, like, You're right. You've been busy. Yeah. You been busy. What you been doing? <laughs> Did they put the baby on the screen? Yeah. And the yeah, baby I hands that be up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the baby be like, well, who is? Oh no. Hmm? Are you my daddy? <laughs> Look at him, Levante. Look <laughs> at him. <laughs> Look at him, Levante. Then they look just like you. I know. Then they take the lie detector test. Yeah. That's wrong. No, no, no. Not the lie detector. You. (laughs) But then Maury gets up with that brown envelope. Yes. Man. Boy. I love it. After the fourth person they ain't found a baby dad, I like what Maury says. Wow. All right, tell me where you going to be. I'll be at the Keswick Theater, Shirley. I'll be at the Keswick Theater along with the beautiful Samoa. Uh, Saturday, April the 13th, baby. Glenside, Pennsylvania. Uh, we will be in the building. We got two shows, one at 7 and one at 10, and tickets are on sale right now. Don't miss out. If you're living in Glenside, Pennsylvania, get your tickets. They're on sale right now. Following a week later, baby. Uh, April 19th, Friday night, Knoxville, Tennessee. Me and bros, bros. Mm-hmm. At Knoxville Civic Auditorium. Tickets available at all Ticketmaster outlets. Me and the one and only Bruce Bruce will be in the building having fun. Never been to Knoxville, Tem- Tennessee before, but I'm on my way. So Woo-hoo. stupid is coming to Knoxville. Y'all don't understand me, Knoxville. Stupidity is on the way. Tell them, Junior. Tell them who's coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, nephew. Up next, it is today's Strawberry Letter subject. The cookie drove my best friend crazy. Mm. I had that happen. It's oh. been driving me crazy. I don't oh. know why, why this even a letter. Oh, okay, then. Well, it's a little twist to it. Oh, okay. It's a little different than what you think Well, if it's it just look as, as face value, uh-huh. I agree. <laughs> Yeah. Going on the subject. <laughs> All right. All right. That's up based next. on the title. <laughs> I'm in total agreement. We'll get into the letter right after this. 